Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emma. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I edit my Instagram photos. So I get this question asked all the time, so I thought that I would kind of sit down and make a quick video to explain how I edit my Instagram photos and how I plan them out and everything. I feel like when people ask me, they expect like a very complicated answer, but it's a very simple process. It's a very simple process, so let's get started. So I'm gonna have my phone screen up here so you guys can kind of follow along with me. Um, and I'll bring you on like a step-by-step -step how to edit my Instagram photos. So the first thing I do is I go into my photos and this is the photo I'm gonna be using today for the example. I've already Instagrammed this photo, but for example purposes, I'm gonna be using it today. So the first thing I do is I bring this into my first editing app, which is VSCO Cam or Visco Cam, however you wanna, you know, however you wanna say it. So I guess the biggest question is kind of how or what filters I use. And I use three different filters currently. I use M5, which is this one. I use S2, which is this one. And I also sometimes use um, A10. I'm gonna be editing this one with M5 because that's how I edited the photo originally. Um, so I put the filter on top and I bring it down quite a bit. Um, and then I bring the exposure down a little bit, I bring up the contrast a little bit. And I mean I edit every photo a little bit differently just kind of depending on what the photo is but I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what I usually do. So I crop the photo um, into the 4x5 because that's the Instagram's crop so I always want to see what my photo is going to look like when I post it on Instagram. So I crop it to the way I want it to be cropped. Um, and then I definitely sharpen it up a little bit because I usually post my Instagram photos from my iPhone because it's usually like my outfit from that day or from a couple days ago and I'm usually taking my outfit pictures when I'm out and about and I usually don't have my DSLR with me so I most most of the time just shoot with my iPhone. So I bring up the clarity um, and the sharpness just to kind of make it look like it's a little bit more high quality than an iPhone um, even though the iPhone is, works great and it honestly is really great quality. Um, and then I bring the temperature down slightly, just because I don't want it to be too orange. Um, and then the last thing I do is I usually put like a little bit of grain on top of the photo. So I save that, and I save it to my camera roll. And then I bring it into the Planoli app, or sorry, not the Planoli app, yeah. I bring it into the Facetune app. Not really necessary, but it's just good when, like I said, if you're not using your DSLR, you're just using your iPhone, it's good to kind of like bring out the details in certain pieces um, of the picture. So I usually bring out the details of my hair, in my eyes, um, and if I'm shooting for a specific brand, I usually want to detail the piece that I'm usually kind of highlighting in the photo. And then I go in the whitening tool and I whiten the back a little bit just in the areas where it's kind of yellowy and it could be a little bit more sharp. And then when I'm done that, I save it and then I bring it into the Planoli app, which is the last step that I use. And it's a planning app um, to plan out your feed and I think it's so um, helpful and useful. I use it like every day, I use it on the daily. And I do pay for the premium just because, you know, this is kind of what I do every day and this is what I do for work. So it's worth it for me, but you don't necessarily have to buy the premium. The trial version works just just fine. And what's really great about Planoli is that you can plan out your caption. Um, so I always plan out my captions. So this one I did home for the holidays. Um, and then I press OK and update it. So once I figure out where I want to put it in my feed and when it's time to upload, I usually go post it straight from this app. So I go post post and it redirects me into the Instagram app itself as I already cropped it to the 4x5 Instagram crop so I don't really need to worry about like figuring out my crop yet or anymore and then what's really great is that you can literally just paste what you wrote in the in the Planoli app so when you save your caption in the Planoli app it automatically copies it so when you go straight to the Instagram app you can just paste it and it's a super easy process when I'm done that I put my location etc once I've posted um, I usually straight away go into my notes app and I get my hashtags. I try to post the, post the hashtags right away just because it's better to have them before all the comments come in just because it's kind of annoying to have your hashtags like in the middle of your comment section. It's better to just put it at the top so no one really sees it. Um, but I do think hashtags are very important and I think that they're very useful. So that is how I edit and post my Instagram photos. It's a very simple process like I said. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!